apologies for the poorly worded question. No problem. Get your facts straight next time. <laughs> McDermott and Chisora, of course. Exactly. Two rematches yeah, yeah, that I won yeah, by stopping. Yeah, Klitschko too, until, you, until the situation, so sorry for the poorly worded. No problem. Where, where do you get the inspiration from the suit from? <laughs> flamboyant lifestyle, flamboyant person, flamboyant suits. Speaking That's a good hairstyle, by the way. I used to have that a long time ago. Thank you very much. Speaking of flamboyant, you seem to have really been embraced by Americans, by the Vegas. Yeah! Are you surprised? Why, and why do you think that has happened? Because I'm a good looking, good talker, great dress sense, that's why. Is that all it is? That yep. it? Yep, that's it. Nice. And I can fight a little bit too, and sing a little bit too. Let's hear a note, go ahead. I was born by the river in a little tent oh and just like the river i've been running ever since it's been a long a long time coming but i know change gonna come you just cost us a lot of money thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson, let's say you win the fight yeah. yeah, I know you've sung in the ring before. What is the song you're going to sing to your wife afterwards? Don't know. I haven't got that far yet. I only think about it on the night at the spare the moment. Nothing's rehearsed or planned. Just like that. She asked me to sing a song, you know, how we roll. So, so going into this... You know, I don't believe him either. He said he was going to knock me out, but he didn't last time. <coughs> you know, why do you think I employed Chugger Hill? Is it to improve my uh, slicker move, boxer move style? I don't think so. Look for that big right hand, Tommy Ernst style. Pow! That's what we're looking for. Knock out or go home. If you don't knock him out, don't count. Tyson, do you believe Dillian White when he said that Klitschko knocked Yeah, why not? It's boxing, heavyweight boxing. I didn't just hear it from Dylan White, too. I heard it from other people that said he got knocked out in the gym. But what does that mean? He gets knocked out in the gym, better to be in the gym knocked out than be in a ring knocked out in a real fight. I'm so, not buying into anything like that. Sparring rumours, you know. I heard on the way here that I've got a shoulder injury, but I haven't. So yeah, that's another rumour, bullshit. Hey, why do you think you get under his skin so much? So I'm, not, I'm not sure, maybe it's because I'm so dark and handsome and he's not. <laughs> <laughs> How do you improve your punching power? How do you improve your punch? Is there more you, technique? You don't or need it... to improve it, you just need to embrace it. Okay. Like love, you need to embrace it. <laughs> well, I was made of your cut. Yeah, you know, I hope the cut opens up in round one, all 47 stitches, above and, and below the eye. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Cut's a cut and the fighting man. Taste blood. And what I want to do is taste it, rub it, punch it on his own, mix it. That's it. I mean, uh, when, when, it, when, when you've been hit some of your training, yeah. first time you got hit, what happened to you? I haven't been hit yet. Been I'm not going to get hit in the face until the fight. I don't want to jeopardise the fight. You know, just in case the cut reopens. So yeah, I'm so, not, yeah I'm not. so you're being careful about that. Oh, very careful, very careful. I can't risk getting this cup reopening in training camp. If it's going to reopen, let it be on the night, not in training camp. So, God's so, so that means not a lot of sparring. Well, you know, I didn't say it, you did. <laughs> well, the thing is, if I'm not getting that cut hit, no way, no way. What is your day to day going to look like leading up to the I go. I get up in the morning, take a shower, take a shave, brush my teeth, go downstairs for breakfast. Then I go to the gym, do working out. Then I come back, take a shower, regroup, have some more food. That's it. Train twice a day, eat, sleep, train, repeat. Really, that's it. I, I don't really do anything else apart from that while I'm in training camp. I don't go out. I don't see people. I don't speak to people on the phone. I don't take phone calls. I don't take emails. I don't search Google. I just li literally live in training camp like a Spartan Trojan warrior. And that's it. What will be on the night is all in the hands of the gods. Now, eliminating yourself from all the outside distractions, is that what helps you kind of regroup and prepare your mind? Yeah, mentally? I'm really eliminating all the distractions this time. Uh, no phones, nothing like that. Um, no Diet Coke, which I've come susceptible to. I've had tons and tons and tons of every training camp. This is the first training camp in 10 years I've never had one Diet Coke. And I will not have any till after the fight. This is the first training camp where um, I'm going to bed early at 9.30 every night. And I wake up every morning at 7 a.m. fresh as a daisy. I'm doing a lot of things that I didn't do before. I'm eating five, six meals a day. I'm drinking 80 litres of water a day. I don't know if even any of that really matters on the night. It didn't matter before. 
but if it's going to give me an edge on winning this fight, then I'm willing to try it. Why not? What are some of the other things that you're doing to prepare for this fight? This I'm um, masturbating seven times a day. Seven, <laughs> seven times? Seven times. Oh, Damn, wow. Testosterone. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it up. Don't you know? <laughs> so that's a lot. Of, that's yeah, a lot. Listen, gotta keep, I've got to, got to keep active. Uh, testosterone flowing for this fight. <laughs> Don't want the levels to go <laughs> down. Lineal champ in that regard, too. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Tyson, do you have any advice for Andy Ruiz? Yes, I, I want to advise Andy Ruiz to come to Las Vegas and to train with me. And I'm, I'll get him his titles back. Don't as worry about that. What he's going through. Yeah, I've been there, the done it, seen it all before. Wore the t-shirt, been in the same position. You know, you win some, you lose some, you go out, party, come home, whatever. But the main focus is you finally realise that boxing is the most important thing to you in your life. Boxing's got you in the position that you're in. Boxing gives you all those nice treasures and pleasures that you do. So. Honor it, respect it, make love to it. On Saturday, you were talking about having short-term goals, you know, going through the depression. Uh, you know, what's going to happen after you're done with boxing? Is, is that the reason why you're doing wrestling? After boxing, I don't know, because I'm still in boxing at the moment. Um, but like I say, short-term goals only take one day at a time. I'm happy today, hopefully I'll be happy tomorrow. I never think too far ahead in the future, because your life can change with the flip of a switch. Bam. For other people that might be going through some mental challenges, what would be your word of advice for those? You know, it's never over until it's over. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. And no matter how hard it gets, it can always get a lot, lot better. Things will change. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, oh, everything's going to be okay and you'll be better forever. Because I'm not better forever. One day I'm happy, one day I'm sad, one day I'm really ecstatic happy, one day I'm really depressed. Um, and that's how life is, but you've got to learn to maintain your problems and manage them. I do it with training regularly, keeping a, a scheduled lifestyle, and it seems to work. It's worked for the last two years, and, and that's what I do. But, you know, all those people out there who are suffering with problems, help is around the corner. The help is just there when you ask for it. Communication. Seek medical advice. Speak to your family members. Be open about it. Don't be ashamed about it, because it's not an ashameful thing. It's not an embarrassing thing. You know, we all go through bad times in our life, and I think communication is the answer to it all. Thank you. Do you think you'll make a WrestleMania appearance? <laughs> Got to knock out Deontay Wilder. Let's put it this way. If I knock out Deontay Wilder, well, when I knock out Deontay Wilder, then I'm going to go WrestleMania in April for sure. What do you want? I want Brock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's who I want. I've already done Strowman. I've already done the biggest one they've got. Will you knock him out? 100%. Would you wrestle Deontay after the fight? Mm. Let's say you beat him and he says... Hold on a minute. <gasps> Wrestling is for people with charisma and, and um, entertaining powers. Ooh. You know, Ooh. if they wanted him, Ooh. if he was good enough to be a wrestler and he had Ooh. entertainment, they'd have chose him. But they chose me. And he's even with Fox, the station they're with, but they didn't want him because he sucks. He can't <laughs> talk. We already heard him. He was boring. I was up there and he was rambling. I was thinking, I wish this guy would get to the point so I can go and have a cup of tea. Way overdue. But yeah, he's not entertaining enough. He hasn't got enough charisma to, to be a WWE superstar entertainer. That's Listen, the truth of the matter. You believe you won the first fight by outboxing him. Yeah. So why would you really deviate from that plan? I'll tell you why. Because thinking ain't enough. I need to know. I need to know I've won the fight. Thinking I've won the fight don't count. I need to know. Can you get the judges on your side in, in the US? I need to end them. I need to end the fight. That's it. That's how I know I've I know, I know I need to get a knockout here, that's for sure. Fair enough, I, I understand that and I accept it. I'm going into this fight knowing I can't win a boxing decision. So then i got to knock him out. Fair, 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 fair. As long as you know the devil you're working with, then you can prepare. Talk about those moments. When you don't know the devil you're working with, you're susceptible for things to happen and you're not expecting it. But when you know what you're working with, you can prepare for it. It's simple. That's a lot to take on. Talk about those moments in the fight, in the first fight, where you said you, you did feel like you buzzed him, but couldn't finish him. What, what was stopping you? I never had the gas, and that's the truth. I never had the energy. I had a long time out of the ring, and just never had the fitness. Never had the call of fitness. That was it. I don't, I don't need to tell lies. Tell the truth. I never had the energy inside. I never had the stamina. I never had the, the gas to put my foot on the floor. That was it. One more Half question, guys. One more. Any more? Is there, is there any, no one are else? There, are, there any, are there any plans for uh, any uh, Super Bowl uh, appearance to promote the fight? I have no idea. You need to speak to uh, Al Heyman and uh, Bob Arum. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Shout Chief. out for Hollywood Online. Nice, nice. Shout out Hollywood Online. All the best. Peace out.